Peace family, it's your boy King over Tuna. I'm back again with another episode. Today in this episode, I have two very special guests with me. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. My name is Tuna. And I'm Betty. Yeah. We are back again with another episode. We're gonna discuss today uh, some things about business here in Uganda, like some upcoming things that are going on. And uh, we wanna talk about, you know, the future of Uganda, as far as like, you know, what businesses are gonna be producing, like how well these businesses are gonna be doing in the future, things like that. Because this is an election season and hopefully changes are going to be made coming up soon. So we are really excited to see the progress in this country. So without further waiting, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Yeah. Okay, ladies, so first thing I wanna know, um, you guys know that, you know, business is improving definitely here in Uganda and we are seeing like infrastructure is improving, buildings are being put up every day, things like that. So do you recommend like other Africans that are in the diaspora, whether they're born like in the UK, born in the US, South America, or wherever, do you recommend them to either come back to visit, come back to live here, you know, just to be a resident, or do you recommend them to come back here to do some business, you know, invest, and bring back, you know, to Africa, like what they would have in the West or anywhere else, basically? Okay. Personally, of course, I would recommend everyone to come back home. For people who have just gone maybe abroad for you know greener pastures it's time to come back home come back and invest home come back and live home because things are changing things have changed a lot from the time you went and now things are quite different so i believe when you come back with the knowledge that you got from abroad and of course bring it here it's a good thing and of course people who are coming for the first time I think it's a good thing because you need to first come and visit, see what is available, see the developments here, bring in your ideas as well, interact with the locals so that you can have an idea of what you can be able to invest in. That's what I think. Okay. So I would advise them to really come back home. Okay. Yes. Do you think it's, uh, people should come back for a certain time limit or should they just come back maybe for a few weeks or what do you think? So for me, I think uh, they should just come like any other person, you first do your research, mm -hmm. and after you come to the country, mm -hmm. and do some research again, then go back, and after you come back again and set up. Yeah, I think it's a good thing when you have an idea first. Okay. Exactly. Because okay. reading alone is not enough. Right. Yes, because we may probably give you all the information of different sectors, mm -hmm. business sectors Indeed. and you feel like okay i think i know everything you need to come on the ground mm -hmm. interact with the locals that already said mm -hmm. interact with everyone get your you know your information right mm -hmm. get your money mm -hmm. right then you can be able to come so coming once may not really work for yeah, everyone yeah. but unless you have relatives back home here maybe okay. if this is your home okay. you've been in uganda you've been in africa for a long time and maybe you have people here so you can still come back home because at least you have an idea yeah. but if you don't have have an idea of how the, <laughs> how people live here so I would recommend you to just come for a visit a visit is really necessary interact yeah. with the locals go to different like places. any other successful project research mm -hmm. is first done mm -hmm. exactly. so I'm thinking please first come over exactly and study the situation okay yeah. should people like come to Kampala first or should they visit like some of the other more rural areas or different cities like in Barara or the north or something of that nature, or should they come straight to the capital to see what's going on here first? Oh, come on. <laughs> Uganda is not about Kampala. It's not only Kampala. Okay. There's a lot that Uganda so really has. Mm -hmm. We have so many regions. We have four regions, in fact. We have the northern region, eastern region, central where we are, mm -hmm. then also the western region. So basically, you need to, you know, explore. Uganda is beautiful. Uganda is blessed. So when you go to these different areas different regions these they have different things that they offer mm -hmm. so i feel if you go to the to the western part of uganda mm -hmm. there's a lot that it offers mm -hmm. so you don't have to just come straight to kampala live no. in the city and you think you've seen uganda mm -hmm. no go to other parts go to eastern uganda there's a western. lot that we have yeah. northern uganda there's a lot there's so many parks there's so many business activities mm -hmm. and you know uganda is just a place that so many businesses are okay. because when you go to western northern that different Different, different businesses that we what we do here in Uganda. Okay. But I must say, Kampala is not the starting point. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you should first come here. Okay. You, you go to those areas. Right. <laughs> the reason why I ask that question is because yeah. a lot of times, like in the U.S., mm -hmm. you will find like people will move to California because they want to be an actress. People will move to New York because they want to get into fashion or modeling. Mm -hmm. People move like to Atlanta or something of that nature because they want to be closer to the oh. African culture. 
You get okay. what I'm saying? So that's one of the main reasons why I asked because I wanted to know is Uganda one of those type of countries where no, it's quite certain different. things are focused in one area. It's quite different mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Just come to Kampala. It's from Kampala that you know, okay, this district does this. Okay. Yes. This district does farming. I want to engage into farming. Okay. So that, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to do maybe fishing, something like that, you can go to to Masindi side. You can mm -hmm. go to where the lake is. Kampala exactly. is like the headquarters. It's like the hub. <laughs> yes. All right. I appreciate yeah. that answer. Yeah. Okay, ladies. So I want to know: um, in the last ten years since you guys have been here in Uganda, have you seen like any major progress or any major changes, either to infrastructure, businesses, or anything like that in, in this country? Yes, there's a lot of you know developments here mm -hmm. and there. Like you said, infrastructure, our, infra our infrastructure is really growing, it is changing, it is improving. Okay. So basically, 10 years ago, it is not the same. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. When you go to maybe the health sector, still our health system is also growing. Mm -hmm. It's getting better. Mm -hmm. Of course, we are not yet to the, you know. Not yet there. We are not yet there, <laughs> but, but we, are getting there. we are getting there. It's much, much better now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I feel that there's something that has really changed. Well, business-wise, I've seen a very great improvement. I'll give you an example. Uber was not there 10 years. Really? Yeah, it wow. was. We didn't have it. We didn't wow. have Uber, and people were not engaged. Nowadays, we see so many houses being built. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That was not there 10 years ago. Wow. So we are seeing Ugandans have started opening up. Yeah. Become... More progressive. More, yes. We are okay. seeing so many small businesses coming up, so there's progress. There's yeah. a lot of progress Indeed. in the business as well. Okay. So with that being said, in the next 10 years, mm -hmm. do you hope to see like any more major improvements? Of course. Of course, there's going to be a lot of improvements. Do you have any expectations? Yes, the expectations are really there. Because okay. I feel with, uh, with, uh, with this situation of COVID, people's minds are pretty really opened open up, down. Mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> Business-wise, because you know, you don't know what tomorrow holds. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have to invest, you have to do something yeah. here and there. So I feel people are being more creative yeah. Yeah, in Uganda. Okay. So I feel 10 years to come, it's mm -hmm. going to be totally different because just within this short time that we're in the COVID season, mm -hmm. people have started businesses. Indeed. People have tried you know, to be innovative here and there, mm -hmm. you know, depending on the situation that we are in right now. So I feel by 10 years to come, we are going to be far. Okay. Yeah. All right. I hope to see some uh, of that progress as well because one of the things that I noticed when I came here is that Ugandans have a natural sense of, um, like, a natural business uh, perspective. Like, it's hard to explain, yeah. but... You guys are really business-oriented out here. Yes, we adapt to businesses very quick and we really mm. take up things yeah. very fast. Many of y'all are really like entrepreneurs. Like as soon as this whole COVID thing started, like you said, mm -hmm. and they started implementing masks the day they started implementing <laughs> masks, there are people <laughs> on the road selling masks. Exactly. <laughs> I'm talking about yeah. that day. Because you can see people at the traffic shop. stops. Mask, mask, mask. <laughs> I'm like, what? Yes, that's <laughs> so I really like the fact that you guys are like natural born hustlers. Like that's that's very important to have in a developing country because if you don't have that, it's kind of difficult, you know, to make progress out here. Exactly. So that's good that you guys have that spirit. Yeah. Do you think like anything would change with that or do you think it would improve? Do you think more people would start to have that spirit or do you think people would just remain conservative? No, people are not conservative here, okay. by the way. Like the way you say, people mm. are uh, entrepreneurs. People mm. love to adopt so many things. Mm -hmm. Depending on the situation, people take advantage. Like mm. you said, when uh, it is COVID time, people uh, try to see. Go with us, yeah, people go with the situation. Yeah. And of course, with the difficult times that we have right now, our economy is not still the best, mm -hmm. but people try to really make sure that they're living good yes. lives. Yeah. Ugandans are people who love to live good, yeah. by the way. Oh, yes. yeah. I think you oh, yes. witnessed that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> No, you love know. good life, even if you don't have the money, but at least you have to look good. Yes. Even when I was in the ghetto, when I was living in the ghetto, I experienced the same thing. Exactly. People know how to share, sharing is caring. Y'all see that a lot on here. Exactly. So I definitely understand that. Yes. Well, that's so great. basically, I know people are going to be more innovative, more creative. Mm -hmm. People are going to bring so much on the ground. And of course, businesses are going to boom. Yeah. And of course, now, if people like mm -hmm. from abroad, people in the diaspora bring in this, you know, what they have got from abroad, people mm -hmm. are always. You know, adaptive. People love to learn these yeah. things very fast. And when you help them, when you give them the skills, mm -hmm. when you share your skills that you brought here, mm -hmm. so I feel Ugandans are really very welcoming. And that. this lockdown has really 
put them down and they are thinking about business ideas. Like exactly. Too many business ideas. I mm. think by 2020, we are going to see a change in Uganda. Oh, yes. <laughs> 2021. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to see a new change. Yeah, exactly. I did want to ask about uh, the people in the village. Mm. Do you think people in the village are slowly progressing or do you think they're on the same page as everybody else? No, because it has really hit them so hard. You know, before they used to depend on the people who are in the city, mm -hmm. like to give them. Of course, people in the villages mostly love, you know, farming. Mm -hmm. They depend on agriculture, mm -hmm. work poultry. So they're also now out of their comfort zone. They realize, you know, people are not really doing well in the city. Yeah. So they're also coming up, you know, yeah. with the rainy season because right now in the rainy season, mm -hmm. they are planting, they are making sure that they do what they can back in the village to support yeah. themselves. Yeah. So they're not sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I think uh, this whole COVID thing didn't affect them that much. No, not in the village. It didn't. <laughs> A lot of people I know yeah. left, but they because went I to the village. I can still wake up and go to my farm. Exactly. So it didn't affect them so much. So for them, they are, mm. yes, they are affected a little bit. A little mm. bit because so of the finances. Hit, it hit hard, these people in town. Exactly. Well, I can say this. I remember when they first started, some of the areas, were, one area I was living in in particular, a lot of people went to the bank took their money, went home, <laughs> got their clothes, and went to the I village. Went to the village. Yeah. You know, right before uh, yeah. like the whole lockdown began, they were starting implementing like quarantine protocols and all that. Oh, people were gone, straight because to the village. Look, they were not working. Mm -hmm. You wake up and go to your farm, mm -hmm. throw your food. Mm -hmm. It is totally different mm -hmm. than a person in town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I think that's very interesting that you guys have a, a method of doing those things. Yeah. And I think it's also interesting that people aren't left behind in other areas. You I know. know. Is, is also progressive all throughout the country because mm -hmm. some places you might not see that at all. You'll yeah. see the major big cities mm -hmm. are just booming and it's all this business. As soon as you get outside the city, it's nothing. Everything. No. It's so not just like, I like yeah. that about Uganda. I really appreciate that about Uganda. Ladies, um, so I want to ask you guys, in your own opinions, BNT, why should people come to Uganda either to live or to invest? Like, what makes Uganda so great? That people should take their hard-earned dollars, their hard-earned money, come here <laughs> to come and invest to... here. Wow, that is an interesting question, mm. King of Tunda. It's funny the way you, whenever you just go to Google and just type Uganda, mm -hmm. you're going to see Uganda is the pearl of Africa. Mm -hmm. What do they mean by that? There's mm -hmm. a lot Uganda offers, and there's a lot for you know a lot of things that you people need to know about Uganda, and you know come and experience Uganda. Let's start the pearl of Africa. The natural resources mm -hmm. here yeah, we have the lakes and rivers we have beautiful people the culture mm -hmm. you know different cultures of course you're going to be welcomed by these people and of course ugandans are the most friendliest people that anyone can ever tell you that you can ever meet of course live alone that small bit of it mm -hmm. but majority are very friendly people you're going to live a life mm -hmm. when you come here yeah so when you come to invest in uganda i feel like if you're coming to do like Maybe like farming because we are so blessed with fertile soils here. Mm -hmm. So if in case you want to do like farming on a large scale, small scale, you are going to benefit a lot from it mm -hmm. because our soils are perfect. The weather is perfect. Mm -hmm. We have only two seasons. That is the dry and the wet season. Mm -hmm. So the wet season is usually for farming. The dry season is for harvesting. Mm -hmm. So basically, you are going to benefit from, you know, from this, from moving to Africa. Or maybe, maybe I'm sorry, you forgot you cut that. Mm -hmm. You're going to benefit from moving to Uganda. Uganda. Yes. Okay. I mean, say for me, for two reasons. For you who's coming to tour, mm -hmm. this is a this is the destination that everyone actually comes to Uganda. Like there's too much. Trust me, there's too much and not so expensive. So mm -hmm. you're going to enjoy. Mm -hmm. Then for you who's coming to invest, there's too much untapped business potentials in this country. Yes. So I'm thinking it's a whole packet. That is why I feel like we should come to Uganda. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like I want to add on what Betty said. That like, Uganda is cheap. Most people who come here have experienced it. Mm -hmm. Our economy is good. You know, people who come and spend their money. Maybe you've come for vacation. You've just come to invest. 
you're not going to spend so much mm. like you're going to invest maybe in Kenya because Kenyans have come here and they feel mm. okay it's really back again. Cheap. and you keep wondering why do these people keep, keep coming, coming back here yeah. and Uganda is a free country by the way mm. compared to other countries that you can find within I'm not mm. down talking some countries mm. but Uganda is a free country you have your freedom you mm. have the people to help you people are always friendly to to guide you on different things so that is the reason as to why I would recommend anyone to come to Uganda okay. and of course when you talk about the infrastructure it's not yet the best mm. but it is improving mm. don't worry about mm. that yes. <laughs> things are going to get better yeah. okay. yes that's what I would say what would you say King of Tunda your experience a little bit you could also add on. <laughs> so my <laughs> experience um, yeah. one of the things like I said earlier that really draws me in about Uganda is not only your entrepreneurial uh, spirits but it's also the fact that, I mean, it's so many people here who are willing to, like, do business. And it's like people aren't really afraid to take chances out here, though you have to be careful. Because that is something I, I do want to mention to you, ladies. Like, mm -hmm. there are some things you should be concerned with when doing business out here. You know, you shouldn't really give money to everybody. But exactly. you definitely, like she said earlier, do your research and understand the people, understand who it is you're investing with and what you're investing in. Know all the ins and outs, dot all your I's across all your T's and this would be a wonderful experience for you. So, I mean, it's, it's just the talent is really so abundant here. Yeah. It's like, why would I want to go? You know, it's mm -hmm. like, it's so easy to live here. It's so, so easy to maintain my life here. Mm -hmm. The talent is readily available here. I mean, the, re the environment is so relaxed. Y'all here, like, this is my home where I'm at right now. So <laughs> yeah. you can just hear around. Like, it's, it's quiet wow. here. It's nice. It's beautiful. I got trees over here, I got a forest over here, yeah. I got beauty, serene, yeah. like, it, it's just so nice over serene. here. I mean, what I can get in the West, I'm not saying that you can't find these things in other countries, it's just that if you choose to come to Uganda, these are things that you should be uh, expecting and should, things that you should uh, be prepared for. And I mean, the beauty is just abundant here, so oh. that's something that you might be prepared for, need to get prepared for, is that you might be overwhelmed at how beautiful this place truly is. Mm -hmm. Though there are some issues that need to be fixed and worked on, yeah. those are all business opportunities that can be invested in and can be uh, used yeah, for improvements. Sold. Exactly. So I love it here. I mean, y'all hear my testimony, <laughs> yeah. follow my channel, follow yeah. their channels, and you will definitely be able to see like how beautiful so this place much. truly is. Yeah. Yeah. So I really appreciate you ladies for that. Uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you guys is uh, your final thoughts mm -hmm. on Uganda and as far as business-wise. Like Any final thoughts that you might have? Uh, at all so i'll start with you okay final thoughts i think our businesses are improving like the mm -hmm. one i've told you mm -hmm. so anyone who really wants to come and invest back in uganda i feel this is the time like you say there's really so much talent here there's so much untapped potential that they have in uganda that has not been tapped mm -hmm. and of course you can take advantage of that you could come here bring your skills like betty said already come and do your research come back here do your research do you know, discover those untapped potentials. But of course, we do that also as well. Share with you the ideas on our channel, mm. and also King of Butunda has also d yeah, at least discussed yeah. this with mm. you. So basically, come and do your research as well, so that you can be able to invest back here because there's a lot that you can really do in Uganda. Indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amazing. She has actually said everything. Yeah? But for me, I'll just have one thing. Just come. Just come and, and do your research. You'll thank us later. Exactly. Mm. Yes. Yes, indeed. So at this time, uh, I really appreciate everybody who has watched this video, this episode. Uh, thank you all for watching. Please, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and take this time to subscribe now if you haven't done so already. Uh, leave a like and a comment. Let me know how uh, we've done on this video. If you have any questions um, for these ladies or you have any questions for me, any questions about Uganda in particular, go ahead and leave a comment in there. We're going to leave any um, information in the description section. Also, I'm going to leave a link for these ladies, uh, their social media and their YouTube channel as well. So you can follow the BNC Life Lane on their channel as well. They have amazing content. Anything you need to know about uh, housing out here, as far as getting an apartment, uh, extended stay, if you want to stay for a little bit of time or a long amount of time, these are the ladies that you definitely want to follow. You up. <laughs> so you guys stay tuned for the next episode. And I really appreciate everybody for watching. All right. Yeah. Peace.